Um, let's start right here. From Patreon, David Laval sent this in. Great conversation with Bill Burr. And it was cool to see him giving you some feedback and advice from a guy who's been on top of the game for a long time. Was there anything in particular he said that resonated with you or made you think differently about comedy and your career? Thank you, David Lavelle. Lavelle. Um, you know, it was it was a t it was tough to it was tough it was tough. Uh, I was really really glad that Bill came in. He and I had never had a long conversation uh, in person before, ever. We'd had a couple of conversations on the phone. And so I think it was kind of a new, you know, I don't know if we knew each other's vibes that well. I mean, or I don't think he knew mine very well. And that makes sense. You know, I mean, I'm an oyster, you know, I'm a barnacle and he's a cruise ship, you know. Um, and it was tough and it was, it was tough. Like I couldn't, it was just a tough conversation, man. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't bad. You know what it was in hindsight? It was exactly what i should have expected you know he's bill burr he's a reason there's a reason that um that i think he's the best because he's just you know he is just he's a train man he's just a train and he has his thoughts and he has his his ideas and his and he's poignant about them and i don't know if i had expectations in my head that it was going to be more of like a jovial chatter or I just think our, you know, I just think our ideas of, 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 of conversation or the way we, we conversate are just different a little bit. And, um, and he is exactly what I, he, you know, he's really, he was, he was Bill Burr to a T. He's brash. He's, uh, he's, he's poignant. He's exactly, he's exact. Um, you know he's he he's really he really is like a like a NASA you know like a rocket, you know. And I'm more like sometimes like Phil Armstrong, you know. You find me just kind of moseying around on the moon, you know, monitoring how I feel. And he's more he's that master blaster. He'll shoot right by you. And so, yeah, there were some things he said that really did kind of resonate with me. Um. I think when he said that you have to work well with others, you know, he kind of said you got to get over not working uh, with others. Um, and I think some of that is true. It's like I got to look at myself and it's like, well, if I'm going to be work in certain circles, um, then I have to be sure that I'm comfortable with it. But I got to I kind of have to make a decision. So I'm not waffling all the time because half my choices, you could put syrup on them, bitch. They waffles. You know, I'm here. I'm there. I got butter, I got, you know, margarine. So, who knows? So, that was pretty good. Um, what else did I take away from it? Uh, I definitely, I came away feeling like, like it was probably good, like if I had some ego that maybe this was letting some air out of it. Um... You know, I felt sometimes like I couldn't, like I didn't know what to say. Um, and I don't know if that's the best place to be. Sometimes you're supposed to be interviewing somebody or having a conversation with them. Uh, but I'm not like, you know, I wasn't disappointed in myself or anything like that. I just, I think we're two different types of people. You know, when we talked about material and stuff and I said, well, I treasure my material more. And for me, that's because I do stories. I tell stories. You know, uh, and so for me, those things are personal and they're more, you know, there's more of a personal value to them in that sense. But I think overall, I think no matter what, you know, I was grateful to be able to have him come in. Um, he's, ex you know, he is who we thought he was and we let him off the hook. That's what I feel like. You know, he's exactly, you know, he was Bill Burr to a T, to a T. And he, he was exactly who the thing that I love about him on stage is exactly what I loved about exactly what he was in person. And so, you know, I think 
I think some of his stuff about manning up and sacking up, and I think that's right. I think I needed to hear that. It doesn't mean that I can't still be myself or that, but it's nice to sometimes just, you know, sometimes you want to hear, people need to hear, you, sometimes only certain ways you can hear something. You know, sometimes somebody will beat you with a damn bat, but if you don't care who who's beating you, you won't, you won't even pay attention. You'll just have bat marks all over your back and legs and side and, you know, and elsewhere. But, but every now and then somebody who, you know, who holds some weight in your life will hit you with that bat with a bat full of facts, bro. That fact bat and pot out, get your shit together. Pot out. You need a man up. Pot out. So I think it was sometimes tough to like kind of joke around or what, or what our vibes were. I think we're just kind of off, you know, again, I'm more like that feel Armstrong and he's more like a little bit more like rocket man. Um, but I'm grateful that I'm grateful that he came in and uh, and that's really, I guess, let me think. Is there anything else, anything particularly resonated with you or made you think differently about comedy and your career? You know, I think it made me think that if I'm going to get involved with Hollywood and that sort of stuff that I need to kind of come to some peace with it. You know, I think somewhere inside of me, sometimes I have a lot of just trust issues overall in every space of my life and commitment issues and every, in every aspect, you know, I don't want to be exploited. I don't want someone to take advantage of me. Um, so it's a lot of fear shit. So, uh, you know, I don't think there are any, any accidents. I think everything happens for a reason. And, um, and so, yeah, it's like, what can I take away from that experience? Uh, so I think that's most of my thoughts on it. Um, you know, sometimes I wish I'd have kind of spoken up a little bit more, but I think I just didn't really know kind of what to expect or whatever. And so, um, once things kind of got just going in this just direction, I was like, I felt like I was on a, um, you ever, when you're learning to ride a bike and you start the first time it starts going and you're like, you're like, I can't get it. I can't get it. And then it's going, you're like, whoa. And then you just crash right into the side of a uh, Colgate toothpaste blue uh, Chevelle, you know? And this bitch gets out and starts talking shit, dude. And it's not even hers. She's just sitting in it smoking. So it was kind of like that, you know? I just, things got going downhill or going, you know, down bill. And I couldn't, you know, I just was on for the ride at a certain point. And, um... So, yeah, I think it was in some ways it was a learning experience and I don't even know what I learned from it sometimes, but I'm sure that certain things will pop up. And I was just, you know, I'm glad that I got to sit down with somebody that I really, really, I mean, he's just so fearless. You know, he's just so fearless. Um, and I wish I would have asked him more about like parenting a little bit, uh, you know, about things, you know, what things that he loves about his wife. I don't know. I was kind of thinking about stuff like that. Um, I could have asked him, you know, you know, more about like his material and what does it mean when he gives it away and that sort of thing. But we're also at different points in our career. So him, you know, you know, the world that he's living in is different than the one that I'm living in. Um, but but yeah, you know, I think I just take from it what I can and and, I, you know, and in the end, just be glad that he came and sat down with me. You know, I could let it kind of hurt my ego a little and, and I don't think it did that, but I think if there was some ego in me that needed to be corrected, then, you know, humility is always, even though it's painful sometimes, it's a, it's a rabbit that I'll let, you know, run around in my shirt. So I'll get that little freaking bunny that'll bust my, bust my ego up and put it in my shirt sometimes and let that bitch hop around, bro, and just show my chest to it, you know, how I'm doing it, so... 